everyone. It's me, Barb, from Naughty Yarnies. Thanks for joining me today. Today I've got some projects to show you that I plan on teaching you how to create, if you would like. Um, most of them are made with cotton yarns. It doesn't have to be expensive cotton yarns by any means. Whatever you've got handy, whatever you choose to use is perfect because I just use the Burnett Handicrafter or Prim Your Home Cotton. They're not very expensive cottons, but they do the job. They're not terribly rough either. Like they're just in them, just nice. I just find them just cotton feeling. The Premier is a little bit softer than the Burnett, but I love them both because they do their job. I mean, I'm, I want to wash dishes. I want to wash my body. I want to clean the shower maybe with them things like that. That's what I use them for. So first of all, I make my, um, I made literally thousands of these. I did craft shows in the neighborhood in my city and area, the areas. And, uh, I sold these, I made maybe a quarter piece around here. People are asking a dollar a dish cloth and I couldn't compete with that, but people would come to my table and I guess it's just the way I presented things and maybe the way I talked to people and interacted with them that they ended up coming to me all the time so I sell quite a lot of these I haven't did craft shows in the last two years and I still get orders for these like people just love the size of them they love the colors I guess that I cho choose and I always try to keep the cotton on hand for to do to do them up so like on road trips and things are great mindless thing to make so just uh, my project bag goes everywhere with me so I continually either am crocheting or knitting in the car I don't drive I'm not the driver don't worry <laughs> but I do, I enjoy doing these so here's my first one you see kind of falls into a little bit of a pattern coming off the ball this one's crocheted it's pretty fair size because like I said everybody loves a bigger dishcloth they probably have bigger bowls and tupperware and things like that that they they want to have it to fit their hand if you see like you want a nice fair size and especially if you're using them for in in the shower as well because some of my customers use them for face cloths they really enjoy them so here's another color it has some specks through it like a tweed type thing and here's a another one I love the pattern this one this one came into it's pretty cool yeah I really liked that I I that's all we use in my house is the is my dishcloths like I've never bought a dishcloth if I did it was for a rag for something but never ever would buy I've knitted since I was nine years old and I've crocheted for the last six years and never look back like I just enjoy my craft the next uh two I have are actually speaking of knitting is the knitting pattern I got it off the ball of handicrafter many many year, moons ago and it's actually the first one I used to do all the time but now knitting takes so much longer than crochet I'm sure you're aware of but it uses less of the product so when you're buying the cotton it'll go further if you knit instead of crochet but and the knit look is beautiful as well crochet is as well it just depends on what look you're going for this one was the Burnett Handicrafter Holiday and I can't remember the colorway sorry I found, found it was pretty cute and then there one in the in the green yep and in order to do this if you just say oh my gosh Barb I can't make that that's just too fancy all this is is knit stitch increase decrease and then your cast on row and your cast on row I mean four stitches as all as you have to cast on so it's not a huge cast on row you could do your long tail cast on or you could do whatever cast on you're familiar with there's a lot a lot of different cast ons out there but whichever one you choose is the perfect one for the project but yeah it's just increase decrease and the knit stitch no purling involved nothing like that no four needles no three needles just two little needles you could even 
use the short little needles. You don't have to use the great big long ones if you so choose. I love that I could knit without looking at my knitting. So even in the dark, I could sit there and, and knit because I've knit for so many years now. Next, I got a project that I used. Bernat Handicrafter. Sorry, it's backwards. I don't know how to fix that yet. Bernat Handicrafter Cotton Scrub Off Yarn. This colorway is spring shoots in case you're interested. These I get at my local Walmart. They're $10, $9.97 plus taxes for a ball. I get, if I'm making the dishcloths, I'm, I get only three and a half dishcloths out of this ball. It's, um, how big? It's 250 grams and 323 meters for this particular ball. They have smaller balls out there. I haven't purchased the smaller ones though to tell you how how small they are if you could even do one dishcloth. I'm not aware. I'm sorry. I apologize. Now, here's one of the dishcloths I made with it. You can see it changes color just like the Bernat Handicrafter regular yarn, and it also changes the um, texture so the t the top the gray and the marbled look here they're both in just cotton just just like the handicrafter but this this multicolor and the bottom gray are listen it's scrub off like the scrub off yarn so you can use that on the pans and then use your cotton like just if you're washing something that delicate you don't have to use the scrubby part you could have both or you can make little scrubbies I could show you that as well out of the ball so you just use the scrubby part but I would just buy purchase the little balls of just the plain scrub off yarn with none of the regular cotton in it I would just get all of this and just make a little scrubby out of it or if you choose I have a different idea. I create little out of, um, I use tool. Where did I put my cotton now? Oh, I showed you the cotton. I use tool with the cotton yarn. One second. Okay, here we go. With say the, since these two match lovely, I would use these two together. I do not use it the whole length. What I do is I bought a bread knife. It's like a serrated knife so that it can saw through. And I cut this in half and then I keep cut each half in half. And so I end up with about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half roll. It comes right off the roll. And so I hold what I hold my yarn, one one strand of my yarn and the one piece of the tool let's say this is inch and a half just use just uh use them together and either crochet or knit with them together and you'll get a little scrubby i don't know if you could see the tool kind of in there and you could see the cotton in there now this one isn't this one particularly is a knit i sell out the crocheted ones so fast I can't even keep them around I sell these for two bucks a piece which is great the tool cost me four dollars plus tax the yarn cost me ten dollars for the big balls plus tax so I get quite a lot of these out of there for the knit it takes me about 20 minutes to knit one and it takes me about 10 minutes to crochet the crocheted one version now you could get either square, which I particularly like because it gets into the corners and the creases of things like pot lids and Tupperware, or a lot of people are old fashioned and they love their, the ones that they used to buy at craft sales and things that were round. So I just do, they're flat, they're not the puffy ones because I, again, like to get into creases and stuff and those puffy ones just don't get into the spots that the flat ones really do. I don't barely sell the round ones honestly people love the squared ones the corners get into everywhere so they're perfect these last 
six to eight months. I'm not joking. Like that was one of the downfalls was that I would sell them and people would not need any more. So they wouldn't have to purchase anymore. They just throw them in the dishwasher with their dishes and they just washed so well and they would keep using them and use them and they never fell apart. You could use them on non scratch surfaces. You could use these in your bathtub. If you choose, it won't scratch your bathtub whatsoever. They're awesome. I love these. Another scrubby that I used to sell was very popular as well was using one of these plastic scrubbies and I made it into a flower on one side and the other side was all cotton so if you had something that like a plate plate or something you could just scrub on with this side and then if you had something that needed to be scrubbed then you could use this side these don't last as long I'll forewarn you but they're great toss them in the washing machine no problem I actually like them for washing up my bathtub and the walls these work perfect honestly like they just scrub they don't really scratch either I didn't use them on the tub part but I have some jets in my tub um, I have a jacuzzi tub and that worked wonders around the the jet parts but then use this side on the tub part and the walls I've also used this part on the walls though as well so I'll have to show you how to make those one day Another thing I make with cotton yarn that I sold a lot of was, um, well, before I get to this, I'll tell you why I sold lots of this, these particular items was at the craft shows I went to, the, there was, it was a Christmas time. I always did them at Christmas and little ones would get five or $10 to buy all their Christmas gifts for the people that they cared about, or people would want cheaper items to throw into stocking stuffers or teacher's gifts or things like that. So all of these items were, to, I would charge two or three dollars for. So they were quick to make up and for them the quick to, you know, quick little item that at a craft show, because there's not that many things you could buy at craft shows for a couple dollars that will last. So I had mug cozies, I had scrubbies, I had dishcloths, I had the towels, the towel toppers, you know, the ones where you have the towel on the bottom and then you, I crochet the top and hang it over a stove or whatever. Well, this is uh, something of the same, except it's reusable. So I would make these things and be able to use any towel I wanted. So change it with the seasons. This one's a Christmas one. Once Christmas is over, I could take it off and put a Valentine's Day towel on there if I wanted. I could change the button, like make a button, the buttons coordinate with the, the towel colors or the seasons as well. This would go in a bathroom over a towel hanger, the stove, um, a fridge, a cupboard, wherever you choose. And then when the towel needs to be washed, you just take it off, throw the towel in the wash, and this stays hanging up and stays pretty as a picture because you do not need to wash this every time. I mean, I would w wash it every once in a while, but I could teach you how to make these as well if you like. All you would need for this is some cotton yarn. And inside this, I used, um, I bought some, just at the dollar store, some bracelets and I crocheted around that. And you could use, or you could use hair elastics even if you like that works too to keep it round those those eventually stretch out of the way these I like because it just looks like a perfect circle all the time now picture if this had an elastic in it it would sag a little bit here but that's a you know preference that's just a matter of preference if you like it like that or not so just let me know if you would like something like that or like to learn how to make those and my last crochet pattern, I, it's a crochet pattern, but I want to tell you that I will be showing you, this is probably the, going to be the first project that I will teach you how to make. And you can use it for crochet, you can crochet them, you can knit them, or you could even loom knit them. You can use any type of yarn, you can use any hook or needle size, you can knit, crochet, loom knit, as I said. Um, what else? 
you could use any any stitch even if you like like it's the stitches beyond your cre own creativity like honestly these are so easy all you need is the measurement of your foot or the person's foot that you're creating them for and the width all the way around in total those two measurements you'll be able to make these and they look just like the slippers from back in the day that everybody used to to wear I made it with pom-pom the customer asked for a pom-pom on it I just used basically a I think I used a single crochets but I've knit them before I've also used a half double crochet with the, the stitch before so there we go and I'm also going to teach you how to make a cuff so if you don't want the pom-pom or even if you want the pom-pom and you want a cuff as well we could do that and then the one with the cuff can one with cuff or this one we can do a tie around it so it tightens around the foot so it stays in place so in case the, your foot slides out or anything like that you don't you don't want that to be happening now I would this I made with just cheap acrylic yarn red heart super savers perfect job for it because it's um kind of grippy so it's not real slippery yarn and I find I don't slip on the floor whatsoever in these they're just and they hold up so well like you I just replace mine every year because I wear them around wear them around so once a year I'll get rid of them and just time for a new one it doesn't take any time at all honestly I'll teach you how to make those though hope you uh let me know down below if you are excited I will get right on this I hope to have the video up out by this weekend I can to teach you how to do it either a knit one and a crochet one separate or I can teach you all at, at once let me know what, what you would prefer and that's all I have really to show you today I hope you were informed and anxious as I am to get going on some projects I'm just right now this week preparing my area where I will be recording the videos and recording the production of making the items along with you because right here I'm in my yarn room and in my yarn room I just have two aisles of yarn like so there's a wall of yarn here and there's a wall of yarn on this side and then I go around the corner it's like a c-shape and it has the walls of yarn too it's like a little my own little personal store so I don't really have the room in here to to film anything except a little bit of a podcast so um that'll be in my other room in my craft room so I look forward very much to do that with you so other than that I hope everybody's staying safe enjoy your day please give this video a thumbs up and I'd love the subscribe if you will I thank you so much. Enjoy your day, everybody.